All right, hey, how's it going? This is John, little night vision going on here uh, in traffic on the way to the lab Friday night, and I'm going to be late. I'm going to break my own rule. Here's my rule. You can use this. If you're a leader, you can use this or adopt this. Early is on time. On time is late, and late is unacceptable, but I'm going to break my rule because I'm sitting here in traffic, and people should just be going a little faster. That's all I'm thinking. Hey, I'm I'm wearing my new uh, lab t-shirt. You can't see the back, but on the back is a QR code. Uh, You go to labreportbrand.com. You can check out all the different uh, designs. I just uploaded two new ones today, so check those out. Um, Let's talk about the the call, but not just the call. This isn't just a commercial for the call. Uh, I want to talk about regional uh, strategy here. And those of you that know my heart, you know I'm a regional guy, a city guy, and and I do not believe that we can stay intently focused on our own local ministry as the primary thing um, while forsaking the regional call and expect revival to 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 launch or or at least to uh, sustain. And so we've got to figure this thing out. Now the call, of course, is coming to Detroit, eleven, eleven, eleven. Lou Ingalls heading that thing up, and um, and it's going to be powerful. It's going to be a, bring a shock. Uh, to the region, and I can go on and on and on about how important it is, how powerful it is, but consider this, it's one and done, you know, it's it's going to be a blip on the radar, it's it's going to have great res- uh, a lasting impact, I believe, but the call itself is going to be, it's going to come and go in a day, one day it's here, one day it's not, next day it's not, and so we've got to ask ourselves the question, what do we do, do we really just go back to local church life and local ministry life as, as as usual, or do we consider that you know there's a, there's there's another way to do this? You know the 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 uh, the call is a regional event, really a national event, but certainly regional, and so so we better have every church or most churches in the region at the call that particular day. That's I think common sense, and but then what happens after the call is done? You know, I really believe this. I know, I here, I understand that. I, I, I've been a pastor for a long time. I know what it is. I know the pressures of leave, leading a local ministry. I get that. Um, but I, I'll tell you this. The days of local churches driving the American church experience is coming to an end. And it doesn't mean the local church is coming to an end. But, but the local church is dropping up to its appropriate place on 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 the on the hierarchy right or on the on the priority list um so so pastors will be actually it'll be good if we can embrace this it'll be really freeing because now we don't have to stress out so much about building our local church and paying the bills and you know all of that kind of stuff that stresses people out now we can focus regionally and and you know and and, and let me say it this way i have a drive and yield method of living and here's how this works. I drive with great aggression and great passion. You know, as, I, as I'm developing what God's called me to develop on a local level, you know, I'm, I'm doing what I'm called, even if it's regional, but whatever, I'm kind of driving with myself. But then the moment something else that's more significant and more pressing, uh, more important, more timely uh, uh, shows up, then I yield. And not only, not only do I, I personally yield, but I lead the people that are under my leadership to that event. So it would be silly for me to have an event at Revival Church on 11-11-11. It would make no sense at all. And so so, it, and, and so, what am I doing? I'm leading my folks to the call. Well, similarly, there are regional, and we need to expect this if we're going to have Revival in Detroit, there's regional uh, 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 events regularly, regularly, and they need to spike up, they need to be more unified, more focused, but but regular events that sh- that we should be yielding to. So instead of having our regular, whatever, Wednesday night Bible study or, 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 or whatever it is, we cancel it. We need to just, we need to create a culture of cancel. And so we cancel on a regular basis, you know, regular ongoing things, and for the sake of leading the people, and pastors, you gotta do this, you gotta be the one to go. You go, lead your people to these events, and and set set a culture, set the precedent, and, and, and as a regional apostolic leader. And so, you know, so for example, you know, for example, I know my part of my job is to lead regionally, 
And so we're, you know, every Friday night from 10 to midnight, we have the lab. And so we pray in a different church every Friday night. And we do it at 10 o'clock on Friday night to make it easy for every pastor in the city to show up. Um, you know, it wouldn't work on a Sunday morning. It wouldn't work on a Wednesday night. You know, it wouldn't work on a, even a Friday night at 7 o'clock because I know different people are doing different things. But Friday night at 10 o'clock, you know, it, it's free. So that's why we're doing it. So we're, we're paying the price here, even though we love to do it, but we're paying the price of, 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 an, of, uh, of, of a 10 p.m. time slot, leaving the kids and wife leaving every uh, leaving them at home or sometimes I bring the kids or whatever but paying the price to do this at 10 o'clock so so it's easy for every pastor in the city and everyone else in the city to, to participate with us and so I'm doing my best to model that to model you know regional you know a regional focus and so I don't know you know the, the call is gonna come and the call is gonna go you know we had one thing here a couple days and now they're gone um, you know different events are gonna gonna come and and what are we doing with this you know we can't just go back to doing local church and so um, um, alone, you know, we're still going to have local churches, local ministries, local services, all of that. We're going to have, we're going to have small groups, all of that. But th there's going to be a culture of cancel, a culture of yielding, and a culture uh, that embraces the regional ahead of the local. Uh, because biblically, we know that we hear a lot about the city church, not a lot about the local church. So the local has to serve the regional, the city. And so, yeah, let me know what you think. Email me John at JohnBurton.net. Leave a comment. And uh, let's let's see let's see revival come to Detroit. Read my latest blog post. Two of them actually just finished one talking about what this revival culture looks like. We're calling people together. We're calling in the resources, um, and then also a vision of a crater and and an invasion from heaven. And just go to johnburton.net. You can look at the articles and they're the most recent two or three articles, and they're right at the top of the list somewhere. So anyway, talk to you soon. Time to pray.